Hey, what's up you guys? Guinea Piggies Designs here, and today I'm bringing you another episode where I'm sewing cozies for my cage. But real quick, for those of you who are new, my name is Brittany. I basically just sew things for your small animals, and I do other random things. But in today's video, I'm just adding on to my series where I am taking you guys step by step of how to complete a couple of cage sets. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So here, as you can see, I'm gonna start working on the hay bags. I am making two of them. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically just drawing on the holes so that way I know where to sew. And what I do is I take ruler and first I measure a line on the two sides in the bottom of the hay bag that measures 2.5 inches away from the edge. And then I start drawing in the squares. So in each corner, the two bottom two, I draw a 1.5 by 1.5 inch square in both of the bottom corners. And then I measure two inches up from those two squares. And I add a square on top of that two inches up. And again, it's gonna measure 1.5 by 1.5 inches. And then I'm gonna draw four squares in the middle and usually these measure around 2.5 inches away from the corner squares if that makes sense. Everybody's size of hay bag might be different so you can kind of just try to guesstimate where the middle is which is what I do a lot of the times but usually again 2.5 inches is usually um, the center of where I put my next square on each side and you can refer to the video as reference for that. And then after I get done drawing all the squares, I'm going to repeat the same thing because I'm making two hay bags. snuggle tunnels. So for this part I am making three snuggle tunnels so all I'm doing here is I'm going to sew around one of the edges and basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew on the inside of the snuggle tunnel which is really the outside because it's inside out and I'm just sewing along the folded edge. I'm trying to sew as close to that folded edge as I can and I'm just sewing a straight line all the way around and then I'm gonna do the other edge in the next video or so. And again, I'm gonna repeat this three times because I am making three snuggle tunnels. So for this part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand sew up the two removable potty pads. And to do this, I'm just gonna do a ladder stitch to close this hole. So all I do is I take some thread 
and I double knot the end and then I stick the needle towards where the hole starts. I stick it under the U-Haul and the fleece on one side and I pull it through and then I do take it to the other side and I stick it through the fleece, pull it through and I keep doing that until the hole is closed. Now once I get to the end, I will triple knot it and then I will put my needle back in through the hole and try to get it as far down as I can and I'll pull the needle out at a random spot on the pad and then I'll cut off the excess. And if you guys do wanna see like a more detailed version of this, you can check out my potty pad tutorial. I go into more detail and it's in a lot slower pace than you see here. And I'll have that video linked down below for you guys, but I'm going to repeat that two times because I am making two removable potty pads. sew the back onto the piggy lounge. I'm going to sew the bottom on later, but for this part all I'm doing is lining up the middle seams on the back of the piggy lounge and the top of the piggy lounge and I'm clipping them together. And then I'm just going to clip around the back to, to where the back of the piggy lounge lines up with the outside or the top piece if that makes sense. And then after I clip it I'm going to sew on the inside of it like you see here and then I'm going to sew on the outside like I'm pointing there and then after that I'm going to cut off the excess. to the piggy home and for this part it's basically a repeat of what I did with the piggy lounge. I'm going to hand sew up both of the two removable pads and then I'm going to sew the back onto this piece just like I did the piggy lounge. So basically I'm repeating what I just did.
work on for this episode is the flannel foam tunnel. And for this part, all I'm doing is I'm gonna hand sew up the holes on the two removable pads. And then I'm gonna hand sew up the hole on the bottom piece. And I'm gonna hand sew up the hole on the top piece. So it's really repetitive. everything I worked on in this video as you can see and if you guys are curious everything I used in this video is going to be linked down below in the description and in my next video I'm going to be working on the cuddle cups hooded houses and the cubes as you can see here and if you guys do have any questions go ahead and comment them down below and if you guys are still enjoying videos from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give this video a like. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next episode. Okay, bye.
Oh, 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 oh,